Hi again. My name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller. And today I am doing another video on the bins stuff that I picked up at the Goodwill Outlet in St. Louis, Missouri back in December. We went on a sourcing trip. We try to do these a couple times a year. Um, but we went to Missouri, visited with family over the holidays, and then spent a week filling up our trailer. And that's what I've been doing for a couple of months now is going through the 38 bags, garbage bags, black garbage bags full of stuff. And I think we're down, we're getting down there. Pretty soon I'll be done and then all I'll have is either my one touches where I've looked at it and go, uh, and set it aside. Some of my death piles, but my death pile isn't as big as I think some people would imagine. It's not that crazy big. It's a lot of stuff, but a lot of it has been here for a while and it really just needs to go to a yard sale. I don't have a really good place to donate stuff that I've decided not to sell. So it just kind of seems to sit here for a while till I figure out what to do. But I think we're going to be doing another yard sale soon. So hopefully I'll clear off more of my shelves. That'd be good. Yeah. It, it, that's that's the issue when you are, I guess, a volume. I guess I'm considered a volume reseller where I buy a lot of stuff at one time. You know, you get it and you look at it and you're like, not the condition I thought or the because value you, isn't as high as it could have been. Because you have, you're moving so fast at the bins because you don't want to sit there and overanalyze mm -hmm. every little item because if you do, then... You're not going to have time to get to all the other stuff. It's we, we make more money in the long run by having to throw some of it away or redonate it or mm -hmm. sell it for cheap at a yard sale to get a little money back rather than spending too much time doing the scanning and looking and researching at the, at the bins. And it is the time that I buy a lot of bread and butter. You know, I'm trying to be better about when I go to estate sales, pay attention more to the, um, re the sell through rate and the value because I am paying a little bit more at estate sales, but as yard sale season comes along, I've told myself, I'm gonna try to stay away from more of the bread and butter stuff and focus on the higher dollar stuff or the things that are gonna sell quicker. But I mean, I still will end up buying some stuff that's gonna be in my eight to $12 range. Because we get lots of the bread and butter at the bins. Lots of bread and butter. And I'm, I, I'm good with that. That's, that is my purpose. Save the vintage, get a bunch of the smalls, um, so that I can make lots and then sell, you know, right now, if it wasn't for the bread and butters, I wouldn't be having as much money going towards our bills because this is our primary income. So, you know, you got to do what you got to do. And the more I can sell, the more money I can make. We see, you know, sales are down for us and watching other you resellers on YouTube, sales are down for lots of people. For lots of people. I've got to get more clothes listed. I think I need to branch out into more niches and have a variety of stuff. And that's what yard sale season is going to be for me this year. Getting into the other things that I like to sell that are not just plush. But, of course, I have to save the vintage always. That's why I married you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do some of the plush and then I'll get into some of the smalls. And I found my glasses. I forgot it on the last video. So I can read the tags. All right, this is Animal Adventure, and it is dated 2008. I just love that. Look, it's a purple and white cow. I'm hoping maybe $12 to $15 for it. And then this. He's got a little string right there. A lot of times, ooh, I don't know about that. Yeah, if I pull it tight enough, I might be able to run a needle and get it back in the bear's foot. Now this is vintage Walmart. Let me show you guys the tag. I have people all the time say, how do you know it's Walmart and how do you know it's vintage? To me, this looks like the vintage Walmart tag. Well, you guys can't even really see it too well, but it says Walmart stores on there. But you know what? I probably need to just go. I haven't been to, we don't have littles anymore. So I haven't been through a Walmart toy aisle in forever, forever. I need to just go in there and see what plush they're selling and what's the brands and. I did some scanning in there recently when did you weren't you? with me because you get irritated when I do it in the store. I don't like it. But they they were selling, I can't even remember what they were, but there was some Easter plush in there that you could buy 
for eight dollars and sell for say 20 and you're not going to make a ton of money on it but you could make six or eight dollars on something like that if you're selling it for 20 22 dollars by buying it new at walmart and then reselling it on ebay we don't like to do that because you know you're paying more than we more. like to pay for the profit we like to get but if you find those things that are really high in demand you know in a certain year you see them at christmas all the time but if you find something for easter like that that people are really searching for go to your walmart and you might be able to find it for a cheap enough price that price that it will flip quickly for you yeah retail arbitrage that's what that's called when you go to marshall's in walmart and target and stuff and you buy new to resell i just i'm that's not me that's not what i like to do i like to get the used toys and especially the vintage and i think there's several of these which is kind of, no not this one this is rok promotions never heard of it but look how cute that lion is just love the mane kind of messy but probably still going to be bread and butter a lot of the off brand stuff i usually list in the bread and butter but every once in a while i get surprised this is wild republic i have been listing a ton of that this would be like a sea otter right maybe a river or a otter. river otter i don't know how to tell the difference me either so i'll probably use all all of the words but bread and butter this is people pals but it's aurora if you look on the back of the tag it'll say aurora it definitely needs a bath but look how cute that is just a cute little yellow different colored rabbit look at that face i'm thinking maybe 12 or so for it now this at first i thought maybe it was jelly cat but it's not it's pottery barn kids not a brand that sells very well for me but at the time we're probably just grabbing thinking i probably thought it was jelly cat but it's not probably going to be like 7.95 9.95 oh yeah there's another one of the people pals but it's what a beagle so i do really well with breed plush you know dogs breed plush that looks like a specific dog breed I'm hoping maybe 12 to 15 for him. I used to have a beagle back in the day. I called him Elmer because he was a rabbit dog. Oh. Uh-huh. Another rabbit. This is Hug Fun. Hug Fun and Kelly Toy, I think, are similar conditions. Similar price points a lot of times, unless you get into something that's very specific. But, unfortunately, I didn't notice. It's been personalized. And personalized stuff... Is harder to sell because only somebody who wants the name Parker in the ear is going to buy it so I'll have to decide is this going to go in my yard sale bags or will I try to list it and see what happens I got a friend that's got a son named Parker do you yeah we just turned 16 so yeah I don't might. think he'd appreciate that <laughs> look how cute it says seedlings it is Ivy Goldberger toy. I don't know. Usually Goldberger dolls aren't really that high priced at all. And they don't sell very well. But this looks interesting. So we'll have to see. I'll try to have a comp for you guys for something at this or something similar. I love that. To me, this, I'm, hope, I'm hoping like over 20 bucks for it. Here's another advertising for Chicago. It is another brand I really love. Mary Meyer. Probably still going to be bread and butter, but it's cute. Somebody who lives in Chicago or has visited is going to want to purchase it. This, yeah, this is Petting Zoo. It says Gulf Shores. How cute is that? Let me see if the, if the, I think it all goes together. It fits in there perfectly, so it sure it's petting zoo also. Look how cute. I'm thinking probably either like ten to twelve dollars for it. Like I said, I buy a lot of bread and butter at the bins. Now this is from JoJo's Circus. This is the lion. I forget the names. I don't find that brand or that series hardly anymore. There's a whole set of the characters. There's a clown obviously um 
I don't know. This is probably going to be bread and butter. I don't think it's as highly collectible as, you know, Backyardigans and Wow Wow Wubsy and all of those, even though it is an older cartoon. And then I have a couple of these Squishmallows. My love-hate relationship with them, but I still pick them up because I keep waiting to find, you know, another Connor cow or one of the cows or or another one that I'm not even aware is worth a whole lot of money. But most of these are bread and butter, 10 to $12. Here's the other one. I'm kind of beaver dude. I wonder if he's a, ah, uh, look. Not good. When you're going through this stuff quickly, you don't catch it all. So he's just gonna go in the, the garbage. I don't, I don't try to, I don't put that kind of stuff in a yard sale. I don't want somebody else to buy it accidentally and not realize it's damaged. But a lot of resellers shop at yard sales. And then here's a bag. Most of this is Playmobil. So what I'll do is I'm just going to make a really large lot. It looks like almost all of them are kids. But there's a few other things in there. So I'll have to use Google Lens to try to figure out um, who they are. I see this it almost looks like Neopets or Pokemon or I don't know. I saw a green one too. Cover up my face. There you go. Not quite sure who it is. But I like when you just find a whole bag of stuff like this and you just throw all of it in your 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 carts. I don't know what this is, but it had the Lululemon, I guess that's how you pronounce it, tag. I don't know if it's like a thing for your neck. Tube top. Is that, huh? A tube top. No, it's not a tube top. That's funny though. But it's very heavy. So, I don't know how much it's worth, but I had to get it because, believe me, we never, ever find Lululemon. I'm thinking that's a, like a neck warmer. Maybe. That's what I'm thinking. And you scrunch it down on your neck and it stays all fluffy there. Yeah. Y'all, I don't know how. I do a lot of cross-listing. But the other day I get this message um, that says that I won one of their daily contests. And I won $50 on Poshmark. So at first I thought it was, you know, spammy, scammy kind of stuff. But I went and looked at my balance and it was, I had had $50 added. So I bought me a pair of Lululemon tights because... I've never tried them on. I'm going to be bougie and I bought a shirt. So that was kind of nice. I don't, you know, I didn't intend, but I think just because I was cross-listing, I entered into some cross contest that I wasn't even aware of. So nice little surprise. Now this, I wished I had one of these figures, but I don't right now. But this is what's called Lil Playmates. See that there? This is an airplane to one of their sets but a lot of times they get mixed in with little people they are vintage but and they look very similar except they're plastic and they have arms so if you ever see something like that they're little playmates i'll have robert or when i do comps i'll show you guys what the people look like I just thought, I, I don't see these very often, so I went ahead and picked it up, but I'm, it's probably still bread and butter. And then there's a whole bag here of mostly Geo tracks. A lot of the track pieces, but they were specialized. Like you could tell this went to some Christmas set. So what I'm probably going to do is list these as replacements or add-ons to somebody who already has this series going. Because it was this kind. Look, you can just kind of tell this has snow on the track. That's the plan with these. Unfortunately, like for this, it's gonna be priority just because of the size and it's gonna have to be boxed, which is gonna add, you know, cost that some people might not be wanting to buy. They're gonna make you mad that day. Yes, because there's another entire bag that's only Geotrax over there still. So I made you mad and you said, this is for Robert to pack. This is for Robert to pack. Exactly. This is for Robert to pack. 
Teach him to make me mad. And he he came up with a cart that was just full of geo tracks, and then I was like. Well, if you're going to buy all this, there's another bin right over there that's full of it, too. So go over there and grab some of that stuff. And then I'll just make, like, either lots with the tracks. Um, the buildings will probably be separate because they're going to be boxed. But, yeah, those are the th types of things, though, that I want pre-packed. I'm not going to list it unless I know I have a box that's going to fit it. Because there's nothing worse, worse than getting ready to pack something and you have to figure out what box you're going to use. I don't like that. That's why I buy a lot of boxes in bulk in all kinds of sizes. And then there were more little people in there. Both of these sets go to a nativity scene. In fact, I have a couple of animals I just listed. So I may pull the animals and go ahead and make a small scene. And then here's some more. This is from the like Christmas winter wonderland type series oh wait a minute this isn't little people look that's more geo tracks how cute is that with the little snowman and then here these are oops little people i may just go ahead and keep these two together just because they're of the same season type stuff just depends on if i can sell either one of these for you know eight to twelve dollars then i'll list them individually I think I did grab, this is from uh, Rescue Heroes. Yeah, Fisher-Price Rescue Heroes. I've got a couple of characters. I need to sort through my, I need to use my new bin to sort through some more of the smalls because the bags are starting to fill up because that's what I do. I just take everything over there, dump it in bags, and then at some point I'll start sorting and listing. I saw one of those, uh, we bought that standing bin sorter thing mm -hmm. a couple weeks back. And then we saw another one at another yard sale the same day. And then yesterday I was looking through the uh, the uh, storage the store, auctions. The storage He's auctions wanting to bit. do a storage auction, you guys. What do y'all think? Want to see one, see us dig through one of those? Oh, no. I think it would be entertaining. Be like yeah, a treasure if, hunt. Like maybe right before a yard sale so that if it's just a lot of the stuff can just go straight to a yard sale. Because otherwise, where am I going to store all that? I don't know. Exactly. exactly. A lot of it, a lot of it, probably get tossed anyway. Yeah. And we just we got the trailer. We just take it to the dump. He's wanting to try it. I don't know, y'all. Don't know. It's just not me. But if you know, if I saw one where there were just bags and bags of what looked like plush, then of course. But what's the chances? Wheelies. I just made. I just made a lot of these. I might just go ahead and take it down and add one more. These are Fisher Price also. They usually have one of the little figures in the vehicle, but they don't come out. I like to make small lots of these. I had to look this up. didn't know who she was. But she's Goldie and the Bears. Not sure if I'll have other figures once I start digging through this. Because once, when you're digging through the bins, a lot of times it all came from the same bag that was donated. So it's, a lot of times I can get several figures is she like a knockoff Goldilocks or something? I think she is supposed to be Goldilocks. But the series, it's a cartoon, I guess, called Goldie and the Bears. Don't know. And these, I do really well with. Especially if you've got them all. This is Mega Blocks. But, you know, the pieces come off. A lot of times, if I can find, find small lots of these, I can sell them for like $20, $25 for, you know, three or four of them. But... I'm hoping still probably will list this for like $9.95. I don't know if it's from Cars or not, but it might be from the Cars movie. All right, and then I've got, I think, like five of these. They're all different, but they were candle cappers. But you buy a candle, and then you can remove the lid and use one of these just for decoration. Let me go ahead. But there were five of them. I don't even think they weigh a pound. I don't think I paid very much, but so cute. This one. Oops. I guess I should look at the camera. Our neighbor's dog is barking if you hear that. But just cute. And there's a whole series of them. Gingerbread house, poinsettia. So we don't need a dog of our own because he comes over and barks at the cars in our driveway. Oh, and now we've got mailman delivering. Yeah, and they won't get out. Even though this dog is scared of everything, he still barks. 
let me just show you guys. I put them all out. They're, it seems like they're all Christmas. So look, we've got Christmas puppies, a gingerbread house. The one I showed you was poinsettias. Look, mistletoe kisses. Holiday fruit. Now, I checked like one when we were at the bins. I don't want to slow down to check them all. So, of course, I'll have to open all these up. But And this one was Christmas cats. But they're by Deb Strain, the, the five. The other one, I'm not quite sure who. A little bit different, but... You know, even if I list these in like a lot of two or individually, you know, for 10 bucks, you know, I didn't pay very much for them. They're light. All right, and then we just heard the honking of the mail person. I thought we were getting a delivery, but my favorite, my new favorite carrier just informed us that she's on my route now and she'll be able to pick my packages up and scan them. So this has just been a really good day now. This made my day because, you know, I've, I've had problems with the post office and not wanting to scan my packages. And Every day is good for you because you get to wake up next to me. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> Couple of more. This says shutter something on it. I thought these were like the Kodak somethings. They're called Kodak something, but maybe this is different. Because usually it says Kodak on them. But definitely vintage. Very cute. All things Care Bears. This one's more contemporary, but I still do really well with them. 2014. Make sure always when you're listing these that you do a close-up of the Care Bears heart. This one's going to need a bath. And sometimes it does damage that. So just make a note. Take a picture. Look how cute. Big O Angel from Lilo and Stitch. Needs a bath, as always. Does have the little tag here. But, love that. But, man, she needs a good cleaning. We'll have to see on if I can get her clean enough. I just mentioned this, I think, if it was this video or the previous one. You know, I like picking up backyard again, rub a dubbers, wow wow wubsy, a lot of these older cartoons. This is, we'll see if it works, but it is a battery operated talking one. Broke out the uh, camera on this because there were some, they wrote yellow writing on this white tag, and you, you just, my right, eyes you can't. can't see it, but it says a Kodak Colorkins. Colorkins. I, I was wanting to say Cuddlekins, but I know that that's not. But yeah, and then this intrigues me. I'm going to stop with this one. It says Among Us, Inner Sloth, Toy Keto, all of that. But look how interesting that is. Don't know. It could be something. It could be bread and butter. But I've not had it. You know, it makes me want to learn about this and what the other ones look like. It's a so game. That it's a game? Among Us is a game. A party game of teamwork and betra betrayal, not betrayal, betrayal. Huh. Makes you wonder, is it going to be a bolo? But that's it. This has been good going through these bags, and I'm, I'm determined. I'm actually picking out the good stuff, picking out the stuff that needs washed, and then setting everything else aside because I want to get through all these bags, and that way... You know, when yard sale season comes, it's not taking up all the space in my extra little, what little space I have over in my building to store all these bags. I can use that space to start storing yard sale items. Yay. We all look forward to this season. And then by the end of the season, you're like, do we have to go out? I'm tired. I don't want to get up. We would be out today, but it's cold and rainy. Y'all, 43 to get this morning. I had the air conditioning still on. But it was 43 this morning. We can't get into spring. We never can get into spring yet. Next All weekend. Right. Next weekend. Is it? Did you look? Or you're just saying that just to saying get my hopes because, up? <laughs> because it's it's getting deeper and deeper into April. It's got to be soon, right? Soon, please. Warm weather. Add to my tan. All right. Bye.